Taylor Swift got candid with her 96,000 fans at her recent Fearless Tour show in Melbourne, telling them how she was delusional while dating her ex Joe Alwyn. She even named her new album The Tortured Poets Department after Joe's group chat with his friends, Tortured M Club. She wrote that album two years ago, while she was still with him. And Swifties quickly found evidence that the upcoming album will be about him. Although she is currently dating Travis Kelsey, you can't just forget someone you dated for six years. That's the case with Taylor Swift, who was seen crying in the car after the heart-wrenching performance of the song You're Losing Me from the late-night edition of Midnight. That's the first breakup song for Joe. Before singing, Taylor told the crowd, I've never played this song live before. It's one of my favorites. Videos of her emotionally playing the piano went viral on the internet. The song is about realizing a relationship is unhealthy and their attempts to save it, which many fans have theorized was inspired by the end of her relationship with Joe Alwyn. She also shaded Joe for wasting her years hiding from the world, as he didn't like the attention that comes with dating Taylor. In the folklore segment of her performance, Swift opened up about her true feelings when composing the 2020 album, which she wrote while locked down in London with Alwyn during the pandemic. She said, Life is short. Have adventures. Me locking myself away in my house for a lot of years. I'll never get that time back. She said, I'm more trusting now than I was six years ago. Taylor told the fans that she needed to write her feelings while in the process of breaking up. She then said of the album, I needed to make it. It was really a lifeline for me. Swift continued, it sort of reminded me of why songwriting is something that actually gets me through life. And I've never had an album where I've needed songwriting more than I needed on Tortured Poets. This came after Taylor Swift and Travis Kell made headlines from the Super Bowl final and its after-party celebrations, making fans crazy after public PDA moments. Unlike her ex, Travis is not bothered by Taylor's popularity, cameras, and paparazzi. She loves that she can date openly and support each other publicly. What do you think about all this? Let us know your thoughts and comments. Thank you for watching.